here we have our inner seeder and it really plants all of our cover crops in between our planting zones. So in our no-till zones is where we put all of our cover crops. And this used to be a Hineker cultivator and we stripped it down to just the bar, bought the um, Dawn Duo seed row units, which we found a guy at the strip-till conference. And we put that on, got the sulfur tank too, built this whole attachment. And really we've, we've learned a lot with this. We um, interseed all of our corn. So we'll do that V3 to V5, usually a little bit earlier now. And then we'll put all of our cover crops, mainly like cereal rye or whatever kind of blends we have in the fall down with this too, usually following the combine right out of the field. And it's been really interesting doing it that way because we can have those cover crops there and not have to worry at all about how big they get or terminating them unless it's corn and we're short on moisture. But having just the cover crop strips in between our planting zones, like we can not worry, make our strips and keep letting that stay green, especially with like sugar beets. It's nice to have that windbreak for as long as we can. And then it just, we think provides a really nice atmosphere for our little seedlings. So we've been really impressed with this and a lot of like precision kind of placement where we're putting like our cover crops and we also built this bander to spray over our crops or terminate things. And so we're just really worried about, you know, the placement and keeping like the planting zone and the never till zone separate so we can have a lot of options there.